The Wide Area Augmentation System is a crucial component of our 21st century national airspace system. WAS enables over 4,000 vertically guided instrument approaches to runways across the country and is used by air traffic controllers to safely separate aircraft. From the Goodyear blimp to regional airliners, from general aviation in Alaska to emergency services helicopters and angel flights, operators trust WAS every day to fly safely and efficiently. I was in the Air Force for 20 years and one of my last assignments was uh, testing GPS avionics down in Texas. I started off working at the Naval Air Test Center in Patuxent River. We were evaluating GPS, which did not have a full constellation. So we would have to get up at two in the morning when the satellites were overhead in order to evaluate the satellite signal. I sort of grew up with WASA, you know, my first job uh, supporting the FAA was right out of college, and um, I've been around it for over 20 years now at this point. It was very good for two-dimensional navigation, but it, GPS wasn't good enough to provide vertical guidance down to a runway, so it needed augmentation. Right about that same time, in 1993, a group of the program founders up in Atlantic City uh, basically kind of scribbled the concept on a, on a napkin in a restaurant, and uh, that was the beginning of, of uh, what we'd ultimately wind up building. We were kind of outsiders when we came in, and um, a lot of military backgrounds, mission-focused, and we did what we had to, to develop the system and, and put it in service. By augmenting GPS with a network of ground stations and geosynchronous satellites, the new system could provide precise positioning. It would take years of hard work to build. Integrity was the biggest challenge for us. So we formed an expert panel of scientific, academia, and engineering uh, disciplines from uh, FAA, Stanford University, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, MITRE Corporation, and others that uh, we've formed into a group called an integrity panel. Once we did that, people started working together as a team, and, and the results were really fantastic. It was very gratifying. It's rare where you can actually take a system from a concept scribbled on a napkin and actually follow it through to a commissioned service that airplanes are using. The team was eager to spread the word. WAS had arrived. Embracing the technology was a challenge on the onset. If you say you're replacing a technology, people sometimes resist change. After a while, the system started promoting itself. But up front, we had to do a lot of outreach and uh, education to help people understand what we were all about and the benefits we could provide. The success of WASP did not go unnoticed. FAA is now helping countries around the world deploy their own systems. We work closely with uh, Japan to develop the MSAS system. We've worked closely with India to develop their system, Gagan. We worked with our European brothers with EGNOS. We know that we've basically changed how navigation is perceived across the world. WAS revolutionized satellite-based navigation, providing impressive benefits for aviation and beyond. What we get with satellite navigation is the ability to fly directly from point to point. The benefit to airlines and passengers is time and time uh, is also fuel. You can fly any place you want to, but when the weather is bad, this is when you need the type of system that we're talking about. It's something that's continually evolving. WAS is not the same system that it was. It's a program that we are really always uh, improving, looking to uh, see if we can get new capabilities, enhance what we have, provide a better service. I think that it's amazing to see how many people out there use the system. We built it for aviation, but uh, there are all kinds of users from agriculture to forestry to geolocation. Virtually every cell phone has a WASP chip in it now. I think that there's always new capability that's out there that we have probably haven't even explored yet. This is something that helps you land or something that uh, keeps you safe, and that's why I'm in aviation. I like to get things done and to see something go from concept to commissioning 
was really what it's all about for me. It's really very cool to sit there and, and, and think about this is the technology that I work on is enabling these people to do what they need to do and do it safely. The most rewarding part of the program for me is just working with such great people. That has been a, a beautiful part of being part of the WASP team. As we celebrate 20 years of WAS, we thank the incredible people and partners that made this revolutionary program possible.